Jacob, I found the truck. What's it look like? Uh, exactly as we left it. You have something in common, then. Get that oil pump, will you? the pumps of the truck. Good. Now hurry back. This meathead Kang hasn't stopped giving you the side eye. Screw till they push back, then loosen a little. Hey, you forget everything I taught you. Taught me? You think you taught me anything, old man? Unbelievable. <laughs> Feisty. She definitely got her temper from you. Looks like we're taking a break. I guess you've earned the right to hear the full story. So, uh, a long time ago, before this shitty planet, before we even left Earth, I was flying workers to the Caravel Orbit Station. Uh, the flames started to surround me, and I tried to find an exit. And that's when I tripped, and I saw this damn pregnant woman lying under the rubble. I was able to save both of us. Well, Sri, hold on, hold on. You were there during the Caraval disaster? All the survivors of the Caraval were given a free ticket aboard the brand new Flores, and I, I met her again. <laughs> right here, in Trench Town. Her child was born. It was a girl, and she named her Chana. Then that little brand was only six when she saw her mother killed right in front of her. So you raised her. Go on. The truck isn't going to fix itself. Hey, Jakob, that was a sweet story back there, but it still doesn't explain why Chana hates your guts. Why do you think? I didn't ask to be a father in a shithole like this. You know what the survival rate is for kids? But, turned out I was wrong. Little girl managed to grow up after all. Who knows? Maybe you did her a favor. If you hadn't been such a bastard, she wouldn't have gotten tough enough to search Anna. Jakob told me what happened between you. Huh. Did he tell you how my mother died? I'm sorry. No kid should have to see that. Even better. I saw it twice. The first time in a vision. You know, I tracked down Jakob. Begged him to come back. Because he wasn't there in the vision when she died. I thought, if he was there... Maybe it wouldn't come true. But Jakob doesn't listen to anything I say. Outrider, if I may, as an altered, you are not allowed to join our ceremony due to scientific complexity. <laughs> but rest assured, your presence in our humble camp is appreciated. I personally oversaw preparations for your private hut. There's a place to rest, food, even a bottle of something special. 
You'll find it by the stairs to the ceremony tent. Few make it out this far alive. Even less mean to keep going. What is it you're looking for, friend? I'm not your friend. You don't know what's out there. There are things I could tell you. Things I could warn you about, but you would not believe these things. And what makes you so sure? Because the things I've seen, even I do not believe them. That was Skurlock's little ceremony? How was it? It was weird. A bunch of rambling speeches about brotherhood. We all picked stones from a basket. And hey, there was music and free drugs, so not all bad. Where's Zahidi? Went off with Skurlock talking some science mumbo-jumbo. Well, he'll be back. No, he won't. Your friend picked the black stone. What are you talking about? They're taking him to the facility. Get me out of here. I'll lead you. Zahidi, where are you? Zahidi, do you copy? Boss, did we really have to bring Corrigan? Skurlock makes his antidote here. Very few know what goes on inside. And how do you? I used to help him make it. Until he took a friend of mine prisoner. How you doing? I'd like to see Dr. Zahidi. Please. This facility is off limits! You will not get a second warning! Sound the alarm! We're under attack! It's the altar! Don't let them bring Skurlock! See up Skurlock! We have to protect the enemy!
try to turn back. I promise you all things have been considered and weighed for the benefit of all. I have created a place of peace and equality where only a few must die so many can live. How many of our people will you kill to save your one man? Lab. Look for the stairs leading up to Skrlock's hut. He'll be holding your friend there. People. That's what they injected us with. He needed bone marrow for the antidote to work. All those people who escaped the war came here to die instead. And I was next. You think that was easy for me, Doctor? It's random. It has to be. Except for you. Safe from your own lottery, I suppose. How convenient. I create the antidote. I keep us alive. How many exactly have you sacrificed for your little utopia? I am not a monster. I carry the burden. A few must be sacrificed so many can live. What are you going to choose who lives and dies? I don't hide behind a basket of stones. When I kill a man, he knows it was me. No. Take as much as you can carry. You didn't have to kill him. He was a man of science. There's so few of us left. He was a self-righteous murderer. What does that make me, then? His antidote, God help me, we're still going to use it. You haven't yet seen anything. Oh, 
Marcus. Get Dr. Zahidi back to my truck. 